This is update 23 of turning our school bus into a tiny home. We started this week with buying our fridge. If you suggested a black fridge, then thank you. That's what we picked. Then to get started on the bunk beds, we had to buy a mattress to build it around. But we changed the floor plan to accommodate a king bed in the back, and now we just don't have any room for it. After that, we went to a farm, skinned a couple of sheep, and insulated our walls with their wool. Pretty cool. Then we brought out something that we thought we'd never see again the dreaded butyl tape, then ripped out the emergency windows, replaced them with regular ones, and locked that butyl tape away for good, or <laughs> until we put the skylight in our future bathroom. Then with some help from our good friend Bucket, we did some things with some wires, and now like magic, the old emergency lights at the top are extra turn signals and brake lights. Nice. Then we changed the floor plan again because why not? Moving the fridge from this side to this side, clearing up some space. So, uh, yeah, I guess we do have room for that bunk bed after all. 